Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, the cooking series. Uh, today we are going to be making macaroni and cheese, which this mac and cheese is so, so, so good. When I was a little kid, I used to not like mac and cheese. <laughs> I always thought I was so weird because I didn't like mac and cheese, I didn't like grilled cheese, I didn't like spaghetti, <laughs> all the things that normally kids love. Um, but then once I got older, I tried instead of the like craft or um, you know store bought mac and cheese, I tried actual homemade mac and cheese like from a restaurant, and I was like, wow, this is so good! I didn't know mac and cheese could actually taste like this. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, uh, I will link the recipe down below, like I always do. Um, it's not my personal recipe, but I did make a few changes to the recipe, so I'll also put those changes down below. I am so hungry, so let's just go ahead and get into the video. Alright, so first we are going to mix together all of the spices. And we're going to start out with paprika, and we are going to be using half of a teaspoon. Next, we have garlic powder, and we are also going to be using half of a teaspoon for this. Now we put in the salt and pepper, uh, and it's going to be one teaspoon of pepper and one teaspoon of salt. Now I'm just mixing it all up, and this is what we're going to use later um, in the cheese mixture, but I'll just set it aside for now. We're going to be needing half a stick of butter, which is one-fourth of a cup, or four tablespoons. Now for this mac and cheese, um, you can do whatever variety of cheeses that you'd like. Um, you could just see what you have in the fridge, or uh, what I used was Monterey Jack. Of and cheddar. 
um, mild or medium cheddar. Honestly, I think sharp would also work. I just never tried it before. Um, and yeah, you could also add in some parmesan if you'd like. But um, I really like these, this combination of cheeses. I also use white cheddar as well in here, which I think white cheddar is the same as regular though, just without the food coloring. But I could be wrong on that. So I just am shredding up the cheeses. Um, gonna come up come out to about four cups of cheese and you want to set aside a good amount um, for the topping I'm gonna sprinkle it on top of the macaroni and cheese later so just make sure to set a lot aside for that I didn't set aside enough when I did this, so I had to add in some extra at the end. Um, but yeah, I have the Monterey Jack and the cheddar all shredded up. And now it's just the Havarti that I'm just gonna cut into cubes. I couldn't find shredded Havarti at the store, so I just cut the, the uh, square ones, the slices. So for this pasta, we're just going to be using macaroni shells. Um, normally I use just the regular macaroni, this time I use the large ones. I kind of like the small ones better, but they both work. Uh, so we're just going to be using 16 ounces of Just boil your water and um, cook the pasta for however long it says on the box of the bag.
now we're gonna start making the cream mixture which takes one cup of heavy cream as well as two cups of half and half um, which you could totally just do um, to make half and a half, half milk, half cream, um, if that's easier as well. And we're gonna add in four tablespoons of flour in a second to the mixture. So, um, you could just get that ready. Here's where we need the half stick of butter we cut earlier. We're gonna melt it on a pan, and then once it's melted, we're going to add the four tablespoons of uh, flour to it and make what's called a roux. Boil it up for a little bit, maybe a minute or two, so it thickens up a little bit. Now we're going to add the cream and the half and half mixture. Um, so here's the half and half. And then, um, I forgot to add the cream at this point, but I remembered it a little later. <laughs> but you would also add the cream right here. Now just simmer that for a few minutes while stirring it just to thicken it. Make sure you keep stirring it. You don't want the milks, the creams to burn. Now we're going to add all of our cheese to this mixture besides that, that cheese that you set aside for the topping. And then just fold that in until it's all melted. And now we're going to add the um, spices in as well.
we're just gonna add in a half a cup of sour cream can add it to our pasta um, and then we'll just put it in our baking dish. I used a square baking dish but you could also use like a casserole dish, a longer rectangular one. I think I'd actually prefer that for next time to have a longer dish so that there's more of the kind of top cheesy crust um, so it's more like spread out. I'm also going to be making an extra mini mac and cheese for my sister. Um, I got this cute little uh, baking dish from Target. It's like this mini personal sized one. And um, I had some extra mac and cheese, so I'm just going to make her a little one. The top of the mac and cheese where it gets nice and browned and, and um, uh, in the oven is my favorite part, so don't be afraid to put too much cheese on the top. Um, now we're going to just bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes and then do like 5 minutes on boil so it gets nice and browned on the top. And it came out so, so good. Uh, you'll see me try it in a second, but um, here's a little one look like as well. This looks so, 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 so good. Look what we made. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go hold it up to the camera first so you can see this up close. Oh my gosh. I am so, so excited to try this. It's been a little bit, well, a couple months since I made my other one for the muffin. So let's go ahead and try this and get my hair out of the way. All right, hopefully it's cooled off enough. I think it is.
That is so, so, so good. Wow. I think I um, made a little bit too much, no too many noodles this time. And so there wasn't as much cheese in the middle um, because I don't know, it came out with extra noodles, maybe because I used the bigger noodles this time, but um, it still tastes so, so good. You should definitely try this recipe. Uh, you can follow along with the video or again, I'll the link down below to the recipe. All right, well, thank you so much for making this mac and cheese with me. Um, I have so much fun cooking with you guys. And if you guys ever have any suggestions, what you want to see, um, cooking ideas, recipe ideas, uh, just let me know in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye.